Hey guys, sorry for the um, landscape view or whatever. Um, I'm just checking it. I'd let you guys check out the the um, page or whatever for the on the Google Play Store. There's a new game. This is another pr promotional video I'm doing for this game that just came out like five days ago, five five or six, and it, it's just like Pokemon Go. It's called The Walking Dead: Our World, and it's it's you can use an AR, but it's just like Pokemon. I'll show you in a minute. So, um, this is a game. I posted the last gameplay I video did of a game that it had early release was called Among the Dead Ones. Now that I think of it, that game's kind of probably I don't know because I don't know how good that game's gonna be. This one has a lot more potential than that one. And if you look down here, we'll show you the updates. See, you can read that for a second. Pause the video if you need. And then um, I've played it a little bit. It's, it's fun. It really is. It's just like Pokemon Go, but with zombies and Walking Dead. Like, you get these people you can play with. Not, I'll show you. Let's see. You read those. And so, let's get started. Boop. Boop. So, it really is a fun game. I, I like it. I just hope, I hope it improves a lot more. But it's, there are some issues with it, but it's only been out for like five days. So, loading, loading, loading. Stay safe. See, it tells you just like, just like, um, what do you call it? Just like, uh, Pokemon Go would. And see, this is my area. I can't tell you where, but anyways, but when you get these crates, you can go up, see, and you gotta walk. Let's see. And you claim, and you get these package of things. And you claim something. And you cap, and then you get these cards, see. And they eat these cards. You, you, every time you get these cards, like you know, you can up, like with it with every card you get to upgrade. Like here's um, I can't remember her name from The Walking Dead. I mean, I, that's my well, that's a shotgun I got. I think so. I got a shotgun, which is cool. And then I see I'm 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 at work, so I can't really get up and walk a lot right now. But this game definitely has a lot of potential because you know you walk around you you know you can go to the park find zombies and you can use an AR and see each of these are and you can find survivals for Earth or survivors and I have one at my house actually but what you can do is you can go here and you can build you can build armory but you have to put in a certain location I don't know it's weird armory I don't know what armory I have, I'm still learning but. Um, you get a training post, a shelter. I have a shelter in my house, and they only last for 10 days. But the more survivors you put in the shelters, um, the more, the more, um, the more survivors you put in the shelter, the longer it lasts, I think. And you get certain things for it. I see this is what I'm see. I don't want to do an AR just yet. But you can click on AR. It's alright, but see, you get one guy to help you out. I don't know who he is. And you can just click on the screen and shoot whoever you like, try to get headshots if you can. And then, so you, it'll say right here, right here, see. It's got tired, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if, if better shots, that mean better rewards. I don't know if it's all the same reward. See, I have him. But, now, the cool thing is, see, the collection, you, you, when that says the number, it means you have one upgrade. And so each of these, like, see, before I fight zombies, I could equip her to be my partner in crime or whatever, and it'll show her power, her damage, her health, and, and then see, I have all these, I have all these, see, that, this right here, you know, um, this says right here, build, building cap, so you can hold more building items, I believe, and a sheriff bag right here increases your energy, so you can Hold more energy, I think. I'm still learning. And then these are all the ones you can collect. And so, here's the store. You can come and you can buy all this stuff, which is cool, you know, but, um, I don't know. But, like I said, it, it's just like Pokemon Go. Um, instead of, like, they have, um, they have a, I don't know if they show them now. Oh, yeah, see? Those, the Raider Outposts, I believe, are like gems. Like the Pokemon gems, I think. I'm not sure how much is like Pokemon Go. They, I mean, they don't have Pokestops, of course. No Pokemons. Instead of Pokemon, you kill zombies. And here, this is called the... Right here, with a group of zombies, you click this. And it's a, um... Let's see. Change a weapon. You can 
whatever card you have unlocked, which I'm going to use my shotgun because that's cool. I never had that one before. So you can equip here, and then to change your character, not your character, but the guy that person that helps you. Like for example, Michonne is my strongest, so I choose her. And friendly fire does not affect him. So this is an infestation. The more you do it, there you can do it up to like three times, I think, and it gets harder and harder every time. You eventually face these things called heavy walkers. Don't know if it's been in the show, but the heavy walkers are take a lot of damage. And your person that you choose with like the card you choose to help you out, whoever it may be, they can actually get damaged or, or hurt. And if somebody takes them up to 30 minutes, depending on the level they heal. So let's see. And then um let's see it goes to that one, so we'll do it again. And then the, see it'll tell you the threat is low, and I've got it where it's very high, and at my level it's almost impossible to do it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I think it's kind of stupid how you run, the, run out of energy, but you can certainly, to get more energy, you can go up to those crates. They have they have them all over. Like for me, for example, like my city, they have them all over. See, like right there, you have to walk. You of course have to walk close, but until you encounter, you encounter right the zombies, and but you can run out of energy. I mean, it's just like Pokemon Go, essentially it is. Like, it's like the location-based game, you know, the map and everything. It really is cool. But you, you, know, you get the cards and upgrade your people. Michonne's, I upgrade Michonne a lot. And see? And so, you, you like, you can walk around. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to play. Well, you know, you, you know, you cross the street. You know, don't play the game. You know. Don't trace past. Don't play with dragon, things like that. You know. Let's see. It's a little harder each time. I think she might have got hurt. I'm not sure. Maybe not, though. Yeah, see, it, dep depending on how bad she's hurt, it takes like a minute. And you have to wait before you can use it again until that time goes down. It's stupid, but you know it's, it's okay. So I don't know what cut, what the colors mean. I don't know what that means, but so like I can you know, until you get points for store health. So I have to upgrade my SMG, which and then right here at the top, those little the blue one, that blue bar, is the upgrade points or whatever you call them. And see, it, it takes a minute. For it to register because it, it, it this game unlike the other game I posted the Among the Dead this game has much more potential and another cool thing is um, when you play you can actually find other people in your area that would play so like I have Shytown Hunters um, let's see you can search right here and, you, and it'll show all the local places all the all the people that around you around your area that have created um, groups and you can just join them and then they'll chat sometimes they're not very active depends I don't know how you know whatever um, and so you get like these right here see clearing of infestation to claim that see? you get cards and you use them to upgrade stuff like a lot of times I don't see the point in upgrading a person that I'm not going to use personally I me but um and so yeah, see, I think that's like a gym, but it really is. It really it it looks like it has a lot of potential. Um, I can't like I said I can't get up and walk around right now because I am stuck at work. But um, I would otherwise. I'll have to do another video of it. But it it does not seem that bad though. Let's see. And then here, see, here's a cool thing too. It's like this shows this is not all the players. I thought it was when I first started. But this is all the people 
like, who have done missions or completed stuff, like, the only people that do it really is Ashley, 52, and the poet, which is cool, but the poet does more, I think. Let's see, you, you know, you get weekly challenges, and I have a day in 11 hours to do it, so I don't have a day off for a while, so I don't have time to play. But see, and then you can go here, your heroes, these are all my heroes that I have collected. I can use, they all have different weapons and stuff like Michonne, of course, has the, the machete thing. And then, here's your weapons. Like, the, the shotgun's pretty cool. I, I'm definitely going to upgrade that. That's my, definitely going to upgrade. Um, the heavy walkers, I hate those things because those things are so hard to kill. And then, see, you got your cards. You know, this is Dale's RV from The Walking Dead. This is your survivor cap. This means the more survivors you can hold. So, like for example, if you do if you do get a if you do get a yeah survivor, they'll come up to you and they'll follow you everywhere you go. I don't know. I don't know if they can die. I don't know if it's a time limit. How long they can? How long you can? They can stay near you or whatever. But you have to get them to. I don't know if it's your shelter because you can place one. You have to get the, the parts for it or whatever. I don't know if, if if you can place them. Like, I have one on my house, for example, like I said. But I don't know if you can just do it at any random one. And then, see, this is, um, this, this helps you. The more materials cap, the more materials you can hold. I don't know how, but that's just the way it is. And then, the sheriff bag. And see, these are all the things. You can't really look at them, though, to see what they do. You click on them, they don't do nothing, but, um,. But I haven't found them yet. But, like, they have different levels of zombies, I think. Like, heavy walkers are the hard ones. And they have more... Better rewards. Like, the harder the infestation is, the better the reward is. Um, but this game definitely has a lot more potential. Um, than any other game I've ever seen. Because, I mean, everyone liked Pokemon Go. And this one except with zombies... I mean, the graphics aren't the well. Like, I mean, look at his feet are in the are in the building. But, um, but I mean, he, there's definitely a long way to go. But I'm I'm definitely willing to bet there's going to be some major improvements because it was only released worldwide like five days ago. So, I mean, really, it's you know, it's brand new, pretty much. It's only five days old. So, you know, it's people those are some people are complaining about you know you can't do this and you know and I'm like well you know it game's still only been out for a while you know so um so I mean there, you know you have to wait for updates you know I mean I'm playing this game for a while because I I probably would like this more than Pokemon Go it seems like there would be a lot more to do I guess I mean Pokemon Go they're you know, they're releasing a lot of updates too, you know. I mean they're they're getting way big, you know, like they just added where you can add friends and stuff, so. Um they yeah, join a group. I don't know how many you can join. I think it's only one group, which is fine. Um, these are all the ones near me. And of course, you know, being just like Pokemon Go, you have to have internet connection. You know, you have to you have to have a location turned on because you won't work without location and then you know, it's, it sucks, and if you live in a rural area, you know, then it's not going to work too well. But, but other than that, it looks like it's a great game. I don't know what these are. I, I'm i guessing they're like gyms, but or maybe just fight like other humans, I guess. And it, I'm on the level 4, so I can use it. And like I said, I would walk, but like that's here, see? that right there. It doesn't really tell you what it is. It kind of sucks. I wish it would. It just says target out of reach. Walk close, walk closer. But that is a I think a, a encounter or something where you, I can't remember. Oh, it's a rescue mission. That's right. That this When you see this, this is where you get to rescue survivors and they will follow you for I don't know how long until you get to a safe house. Like, And then at a safe house will last like 10 days. You know, which is a good amount of time. But you have to go out and get find them. You have to go out and find survivors. Because like, I think every time you put a survivor in there, it makes it, it puts more time on it. So, and this, see, they're here. See, this will tell you. Oh, nope, 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 nope. This will tell you right here. Fight Raiders. Let's see, I have yet to do that though. So, 
going to kill Raiders, which I, I guess it's kind of, I don't know. Um, but it looks like it'd be a great game. I mean, I don't think the time, I don't think that the night time cycle works with your actual location like Pokemon Go does. Because I've seen it be daytime when it's night here, and I've seen it be nighttime when it's day. I think. I don't think the night cycle works. And they don't have weather, of course, not yet, anyways. I don't think they will, but I don't know if it would be a point because, you know, it would be kind of cool, though. But really, it's it's just like it's just like Pokemon Go, which people like The Walking Dead. It has a large following, so I can't see why this game wouldn't, you know, get improved, you know. I don't, I, I've, I've never seen a Walking Dead game that's like Pokemon Go. I mean, really, you know. And so you can see all, all there, and so that's cool. But see, it's, it's just like Pokemon Go. I mean, a little, little laggy, but you know, it, it's still got, it's still got a ways to go. And then you can wander around, find crates. You can find all kinds of stuff in crates, like from energy. And the, see, the cool thing, this will actually tell you the address right here. It says, you know, it actually tells you it'll. On some of the roads, it'll actually have the road name on it, which is pretty cool. So, um, be sure to definitely check it out. It's called The Walking Dead Our World, O U R World, and um, hit up your friends and see if they play it. Um, spread the word, share this video. Um, I want to get I'm trying, my my main goal right now is I want to get people playing this game because I think that's what the developers want is they want more people to play this game because they'll be more likely to do improvements if more people get into it. You know, I, I think this would be more fun than Pokemon Go at some point. I mean, it's, it, I don't know, I've never played it while walking around. You know, I don't know if there's different kinds of zombies at each location, if there's, you know, nesting sites as they call it, like they do in Pokemon Go for certain zombies. You know, I don't know. So, but I do know, you know, you gotta walk around, you know. I don't know how it's gonna work though. Like, I don't know if it's actually, when you find something, I don't know if you have to, you have to be in a proximity, or whatever that word is. You don't have, because it looks like some of them are in the middle of the street, and I don't want to be in the street, but you don't have to, I don't think so. Well, definitely give it a like, guys, and share this video with all your friends. Um, it'll, it definitely has a lot of potential, so. Thanks, guys.